Hello, 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 and welcome back to this episode 21 of Ashbury Dales here on Snapdragon Cities. Well, where do you find us? So you find us at a university expansion that is having a significant problem with its water. Um, so before we get into literally anything else, I can't keep the game running for any longer with uh, with our water availability so low. So we're going to jump straight in to uh, fixing a water problem. Um, we're going to use the space at the back of the university for it. We've got this little bit left over here. So um, so why not? Let's grab ourselves uh, one of our large water towers, maybe even two if we were feeling uh, if we're feeling like we might need it. Um, so maybe let's put a second one in there and then we're, we're future proofed, aren't we? We'll grab some pipes and we'll plumb them in and we can run the game again we should see water availability pop up there but it is fantastic electricity availability will do so too right let's go to where we wanted to start this episode so we are over here in our distribution area so we spent some time uh, quite a few episodes ago working on creating this in what was once our industrial area and is now home to all of the warehouses in the world um, a couple of things going on here we've got this very strange empty space and a cemetery now i i don't spend much time in distribution centers i drive past some of them on my way to various places um up and down the motorways and a roads of the uk i don't often see cemeteries in the estate that they are in um so we're going to probably just try and do a bit of work creating some separation between uh, the cemetery and the uh, distribution center without moving either um, so we're going to try and see what we can do with the natural surroundings, see what we can do to uh, to make that look a bit better. There are some reasons for doing that, which will become obvious as we go through the episode. We also have this junction here. What's this telling us? Uh, our university is still awesome. Fantastic. This junction here gets very busy at times. Uh, I don't know why these guys are parked here. They are someone here walking to the cemetery, I guess. We need to just turn this into a roundabout. So the very, very second thing we're going to do is we are going to... We are going to turn this into a roundabout. So we'll use our roundabout builder tool here. Let's make sure actually we've got a an appropriate road selected. So we'll choose that road. Roundabout builder. Seems about right. There we go. Look at that. Wonderful. Um, then we need to set it up correctly using traffic manager, which we have now done. And so there we go. That I think will really help us out. Um, what we will do as well is spend just a few moments maybe uh, decorating this roundabout. There are a few things that we can do here that I think we might enjoy. Now, we've done a lot of these on uh, other roundabouts throughout the city, um, but we do also from time to time just kind of plonk a new roundabout in. So let's talk through how we might make this look a little bit better. So we'll, we'll come in and use our terrain tools first. One thing I do like to do with a roundabout is just raise the center of it. Um, so what uh, what I do for that is I grab um, a height somewhere. Not exactly like that. That that has not worked, has it? Let's uh, let's undo that. And then instead, let's take a height at a place that we want it, and then just get as much of that as we can into the roundabout. Nice flat surface if we can. That does a few things. One is it gives us a platform to make things look nice. And there's nothing wrong with that. The other thing it does is if we get down to road level here, it creates a very visible thing that would tell people you are going to have to slow down or you are going to crash. It does seem that not every citizen of Ashbury Dales is so desperate to avoid crashing that they would slow down, but uh, their steering wheels are working for them. Their tires are gripping the road sufficiently for them to make it around that corner at breakneck speed. So we've got a little bump there. We can do uh, some some cool things here. I think we'll start with some uh, fencing. So we're going to pause the game before we add the fence. The parallel road tool um, will do almost all of this, but it can't quite do a circle of fences. Um, so we're going to put a node in the roundabout just for the purposes of being able to create an almost circle of fences. We'll put that in and then we'll just remove that additional node. You might be thinking, Simon, you're going to an awful lot of trouble to almost avoid having to draw fences. And you're right. I have done that. And I, I've enjoyed it very much. Um, if you haven't, then go to the comments and leave me a little comment saying, Simon, you are bad at fences. You need to get better at fences or I will unsubscribe. I will forgive you for your unsubscription if you're unhappy with the way that I'm doing this. So fence achieved. 
then what can we do? We can stick a big tree in the middle of this, can't we? So let's do that. There we go, lovely big tree in the center. We can also um, use some uh, some paths perhaps in here. Not that anyone would walk on them, but we can create a nice looking uh, nice looking variety to the uh, to the ground in here. So we can use our freeform tool for this and turn off all of our guidelines. There we go. And we can also then just put some smaller trees or plants um, around just inside the fence area. I think we managed to get close enough to uh, the center to draw a good circle with our uh, with our tool there. And I think maybe we can also just find some colorful trees that will um, just add some nice touches in here. And we're also going to add a few uh, signs to the parts where people drive up to the roundabout. Uh, very common to see roundabouts sponsored. Uh, that's uh, that's how we get the funding on here. This one's sponsored by Chirpy Land. Um, who are, of course, the parent company of the Turnwater World of Wonder. There we go. And if that isn't the most stunning roundabout in all the world, there we go. Wonderful. Um, right. So that should help with the traffic quite a bit. We will uh, we will see. It's a nice big roundabout, so plenty of room for all of the traffic that needs to get onto it to get onto it. Um, one of the ways that we're going to make this cemetery seem better situated is to try and impact the overall purpose of this area. So we, we've got our distribution center here. We're going to probably have space here for one of our factories, one of our unique factory buildings, uh, which we'll put in here. And I think if we worked out where that needed to go, we would know where we could place a road alongside it, partition this area off, and then start thinking about a much bigger area up here into which this cemetery could then be incorporated it might mean shifting some of these uh trees it might mean um replacing them over here somewhere once we know what we want to do with this area but i think this would make a fantastic area for a small town right by the world of wonder decent enough access to some of our um, our country roads that get us in and out of the city nowhere near anything else in terms of uh, train infrastructure or motorways or anything like that so maybe it won't be the biggest or most successful area um, but we'll give it a go so we'll start then by finding our lemonade factory, which I think we have unlocked and I think we have everything we need for. So I'm going to put this here. I have had a look at this a couple of times before and I was stunned at my good fortune that the lemonade factory is um, exactly the same length as all of the um, warehousing that we've put in. So we're going to take this road to there. Then we'll take one from here down to there, get rid of the excess. And there we go. So we now have a lemonade factory. What does our lemonade factory need? Well, it needs crops and glass. So we can turn one of these distribution centers into something for crops. So what have we got here? We've got uh, commercial zone goods. I, maybe we won't need that many glass, that many glass, that much glass, but we will set this one to fill with glass. There we go. So that will come over from our industrial area. Um, crops won't be able to go into one of these, though. They need their special um, special storage. So let's use one of our large barns for that. Um, I wonder, wonder if it would have been possible for us to have integrated that into here somehow. Would any of our others go nicely in there? So we could actually just pop some barns along here, or maybe even just a barn along here. I think that's going to be absolutely fine. I've got no no qualms. I'm qualm free, folks, to pop the barn in there. I know it doesn't perfectly go well with the look and feel of everything else, but, uh, you know, not everything always does. These orange things here don't match with the green things here, so we can have a building that looks slightly different and feel OK about that. Um, there we go. Ignore my over justification. I am definitely fine with it. Let's see then if we can get this road hooked up to this one. I think maybe just a simple curve in, find the guideline, connect it in. That seems great. Um, I wonder if uh, we've just moved the traffic problem that we had fixed here to here. Uh, if um, if that's how it ends up looking, we can. I'll tell you what, that is absolutely what's happened. So we're going to we're going to pause. We're going to have a rethink about all of this. Well, this has gone very wrong, hasn't it? I can't I can't, uh, I can't say that we are currently achieving what we set out to achieve. We're trying to use the um, the network multi tool to arrange these nodes as a circle and it's just not doing it right. Well, 
Welcome back to the drawing board, everyone. There we go. That was oh so much longer than it needed to be. But, uh, but there we go. Right, so we've got two ways into our industrial area now through here and uh, a, rate, a way for traffic to get right down all the way to Whitehall. Uh, we'll get the game running and let that work. Um, a, a lot of the reason for that taking longer than I wanted to is because I wanted to keep the decoration that I've done to this roundabout, which I think I have managed to do. So there we go. We now have Lemonade Factory right here next to the distribution center. This will all start to fill up. I wonder if we're getting anything. Yeah, we've got some crops in here already. Let's turn this up. I like that being at 150. I don't mind paying a little bit more to get quite a lot more out. Wonderful. Right. So what we want to do next is have a think about how we might um, turn this area into a town. Now, uh, we, we don't need to overthink how we'll do that from a residential point of view. We know what we're doing at the moment in terms of um, like terraces and themes and things like that. We know we will be able to get a good road layout in there. But what are the ways in? Uh, what are kind of some of the key areas that we need to make sure that we are getting right? What are some of the opportunities that we got? You might remember way back in, it was probably episode one. We noticed this monument in the distance and we are now getting dangerously close to being able to integrate it. So we want to make sure that we don't prevent ourselves from being able to do that in future, either by creating a, a you know, we would like to maybe create a walking path up here or perhaps even a road that will get us there. We do have some areas that sort of are self-marked out here. So we've got something here that might be something that feels like a school. So maybe a path alongside there that leading up to, leads up to this monument would be great. A road would do the same job. Uh, we've got a similar area over here that's sort of pre-allocated for something. Who knows what that might be? And then the rest of this can be various different flavors of residential. We want to be able to um, use the road layout as it is. So there's a very particular angle there no reason why we can't come off of there as a way to come into the town probably want something else coming in here as well um, and then also perhaps something uh, that just runs a road up here and here that allows us then to do something with this to make this feel like it's part of all the same town so i'm going to take a little while uh, to pull together a road layout, start sketching out the main um, kind of uh, services and features of the of the new town. And then I'll come back to you and we'll talk about what we've done, decide whether or not we've been successful and whether or not it was all worth it to integrate a cemetery uh, into, you know, a big open field and make it feel separate from uh, from the thing that it's that it's near. So let me take some time to do that. I'll try and notice power cables and trees and things like that that I that I move. Um, and then, yeah, we'll talk about what we've done. game running having done this much let's talk about what we've done so far so we have got some zoning in here so we should start seeing some things pop up here just as soon as people realize that it's there i'll make sure the power is jumping across before we do because that will almost certainly stop it yeah so we've got a power connection here and we'll start to see the development happening so a few things that we've done here i think we've successfully separated the cemetery from the distribution center we've done that by making sure that the roads go somewhere else so um clever geniuses that we are we managed to work out that what we should do is stop making it seem like you can drive between them. Done. Um, we've done a few things then with road layout. We're using a slightly different theme to the one that we've used over in Upper Turnwater. So we've got some of our, um, our older terrace looking buildings here. They're on a slope. We're going to try and be OK with some of these larger buildings and um, not integrating perfectly into the into the slope. There's some realism to 
that, not quite the realism that says your front door will be slightly below ground level. But um, but we'll see we'll see how we get on. I don't want every part of our build to look the same. I don't want to always flatten out the um, the land that we're building on. I think by the time this is done, it's going to be great. The reason why we are pausing to discuss this here and let some of this build in is that we don't want all of our residential development to occur at once. Uh, we've got mods that prevent that being a huge problem, um, but it, it is still a small problem from time to time. I think that's actually what was causing us the problem at our university. I think we developed Oakerton and that had, you know, like 10,000 people all arrive at once. Those who wanted to go to university did and then stopped and we didn't have the same influx of people coming into the city um, any longer. So it stopped happening. This is going to be great. Um, so we've got some um, terrace here that is two units deep. And so we've put some paths in between, much like we've done uh, over in Upper Turn Water. Um, we've got some other bits that are three units deep. So we're going to uh, to put some of those in as well. I think we, what we also want to do is put in a school. So I've protected this area here, which I will use for a school. So let me just quickly integrate a primary school into this area. There we go, elementary school in. Nothing unusual here um, apart from the sudden height change, but I think that's going to be uh, very livable for now. Look at this, full up already. Fantastic. So um, this will allow time for our residential development to go up. These people to find jobs, more residential demand uh, then will occur. Um, but I think we're in a good place here. I will now just start trying to develop out some of the rest of this area. different to what it was when we started we've done quite a lot actually in here you can see in the background here um this ground's always going to be polluted here so rather than try and find a way to get some trees in there i thought we'd put some um, dummy train tracks down and some uh, some prop trains in there concrete over make it look like a, a something a something where you might keep trains uh, meanwhile all of this will start growing in so we've got a slightly different theme for this area um so still just terraced uh, not quite as precise as it was over in upper term water um so it'll look similar but different to uh, to this here uh, so we've got some uh, commercial some residential all uh, all over the place around here so we should see that start to develop nice and quickly um while that is uh, while that is doing that because we, we've got more residential zoning in here than we have demand at the moment um we can let this grow up have a think about some names but more importantly we need to get some schools and some other services in here so we've left some nice big areas in here for that so we've got an elementary school over here let's get a high school in here i think maybe this area um that we protected here might be good for that so let's spend a moment getting a school in here <laughs> There we go what do you think of that so uh, so we've got the high school in here little car park in there for some reason a fountain and a bunch of benches um on top of a bunch of decals that we haven't used before that i'm not sure really fit 
but they're in there now so uh, so great some football pitches that haven't been as well maintained as the fountain has over here some trees and some fences all around the outside and i think we've done a great job of that um let's get some sort of park or something on the go in here i wonder if we want to um i wonder if we want to use one of the ones that come with the game let's have a look what's better than one vanilla park two vanilla parks there we go so uh we'll, we'll pop those in there let's put some um let's put some paths coming out of these two other places seem a little bit more integrated that way get them to connect to each other connect to the edges of the area that they are in put some other trees around the outside looks wonderful to me love it great that'll keep everyone nice and happy we've got some space over here that we can fill in and all this residential stuff will fill in in time that looks fantastic doesn't it um i wonder if we want to maybe predict that some people here would work here do we want to just put a little a couple of paths in here to join them up there we go a few paths in there at apparently random locations but that's all good um and then some bus routes. I think we're going to really benefit from getting some bus is in here. But yeah, a couple of bi-directional routes in there. And where do we want to connect them up to? Um, well, I, we've got this little bus hub thing on the go over here. So let's add them into there. I imagine that worked the way we wanted it to work. Wonderful. Um, so buses are in. Um, that might be enough to let this grow out for a little while. Maybe we want some... Yeah, let's put some services in here. So should we get a doctor surgery over here? Yeah, does that look all right? What do you think? Yeah, I think I quite like it. Rather than having some trees at the back of the park, we've put some of our um, services in here. So a sauna, doctor surgery, fire station, and childcare centre. We need to find somewhere for a police station. It's too many police cars isn't it? It's like a police car showroom at this point. You expect like if you walk up here, one of the uh, police officers is going to come out saying, what's it going to take to get you in a police car this afternoon, sir? And um, try and sell you one. Anyway, uh, enough of all of that. I think we've probably got done what we need to get done. And it's filled up really nicely as well. I wonder how much we would want to spend, get, how much time we'd want to spend getting out there today. I suspect not very much. It is worth, um, worth pointing out that we've kind of tanked a lot of our residential development all in one go which is a really really good thing so yeah i think this area is probably about as much done as we need it to be done now so um so let's move on to one other thing that we wanted to look at right so we're all the way over here on the outskirts of lockborough uh, right by our interchange that we put in a thousand episodes ago we've got this junction here that is just a t-junction of a couple of country roads it actually it gets quite busy like this is again quite mild here um but it's it's never less busy than this so we want to do just a quick traffic fix um in here we'll just do a roundabout in here and uh, change a couple of the roads so i think it being country roads up to here doesn't really make any sense so we're going to take the road that we've been using in the rest of lockborough and we're going to upgrade it up to the roundabout and to our new bit here we're going to upgrade this road as well that'll slow the traffic down on this road hopefully give us a bit more breathing room before we get to the new roundabout and um, we won't think too hard about the roundabout other than to come in and do a bit of traffic manager like so i think that's going to work very well we have an opportunity to use our arrange at line tool here and if there is an opportunity to do it we will take the opportunity to do it like that and everything is right with the world again Wonderful. Should we do just a little bit of decoration on these uh, roundabouts? We did uh, we, we did show off our prowess at such things earlier in the episode. So let's give it another go here, shall we? So we'll do exactly the same things again. And uh, you can let me know if, uh, if you like it. There we go. One down. So we've done a few things in here. Some bright colours at the bottom of some quite tall trees, some bushes around the outside. And these signs on the way in just to uh, remind UK traffic users um, that despite having obviously gone through a roundabout to get here, um, the roundabouts go clockwise. There we go. Fantastic. Uh, we've got another roundabout here. We could have decorated this 15 episodes ago. I can't remember what the which episode the um, interchange episode was, but it, it was not this one. So uh, let's uh, let's see what we can do on this one. I tell you, we probably don't want to do too much actually. So what we'll what we'll do is I'll put some bushes around the outside, and then I'll put some taller trees in the middle. 
there we go two and a half roundabouts decorated in uh, in this episode wonderful um i think that traffic fix is going to help us i've had it suggested to me that um there is no good reason why this road does not connect to this roundabout i wonder if the folks at the meadow residence would disagree with that um assessment so uh, let's ask them they didn't mind they didn't mind it turned out it was fine in the end for them they had um they were worried at first i think but then once we explained to them how it worked they were they were fine with it so we'll pop that in there and that um that that's going to that's going to be a problem i think it's going to be a problem but we'll uh, we'll see another roundabout here for us to uh decorate let's get even lazier with this one let's find a forest brush size that's about as big as the roundabout and the roundabout's decorated look at that it's easy peasy that um right i think it's gonna work fine if we speed the game up a bit we me just let this go this is about as clear as it's been um at any point for a while this road just goes off to the industrial area doesn't it so again it seems odd that it would be a country road yeah i think that's good right and um no problems are no problems at all here they're they're flying through quicker than they quicker than they ever have and why should they not as well we've invested i mean i've got no idea what, what do you think around about costs to build it's got it's got to be it's got to be some some amount of money that i can't even guess i was going to say it could it cost a million pounds to build a roundabout i don't know how long does it take to build something that that this feels quite big so there's a lot of tarmac a lot of people it would take to work on it trees are expensive he says knowingly a million pounds there we go so one two three three million pounds over here in roundabouts alone there we go um right i'm gonna to have to try and resist just staring at undecorated roundabouts now so we'll move on i can see uh that our cinema has fallen into disrepair so what we do in that situation is we put it on the market and we see if a new buyer wants to come in and buy it so uh, so let's see um going once going twice sold to Chirp Cinema. There we go. Proud uh, re-owners, I think, of the cinema in here. This area is buzzing, isn't it? People love walking around in Lockborough Town Centre. This is wonderful. This was working really nicely. Fantastic. Anyway, by the by, so let us marvel on our creations. So we've uh, all the way over here in our new area by the distribution centre. We've got a couple of nice big residential areas here. This will tick up and down, I think, for a while. I wonder if we're going to have an episode where we do some commercial development at any point soon. It would it would seem that we might benefit from doing that. Some electricity as well is going to be required soon. We're sort of maxed out for space here. If only I'd noticed that before I used up all of this extra space over here. Oh, well, um, let's solve that quickly before we round this episode out, because I know I'll forget in future episodes. So let's have a quick zoom out on the map and say, where would we want to put a power station? There we go perfect time for it here over by our um sewage treatment works and the stuff we did a couple of episodes ago i think wonderful right that's probably about us done let's find some folks to follow around our city and uh, marvel on the work that we've done today <laughs> So there we go episode 21 of ashbury dales in the books and what an episode it was this uh, this new area is growing up fantastically and we're, we're seeing already our residential demand rocketing back up we've still got more jobs than we've got people so we'll uh, we'll crack on with expanding into the space behind in the next episode i think um if you've enjoyed this episode please like it uh, if you do like it take the time to comment let me know what it was you liked about it once you've done that subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell step to date with everything that we do here all that being said, thank you very much for spending your time with me. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I'll speak to you again soon. Take care and goodbye.